Well, welcome to the Otana Today Show, your community connection since 1991. My name is Pete Connor, your show's host for an informative couple of segments. We're going to be talking with, uh, and by the way, we're November 1, it'd be All Saints Day on the calendar. Today we'll have Sue Tuma, Terrence Flynn, and Roger Warheim, who will be talking about the Steel Tap Brew Pub that uh, is in the process of formation, and we'll find out more about what they're uh, doing and uh, how things are going. And then Shirley Schultz from uh, uh, Watana Chamber's Main Street program will come with an update and tell us about how things are going down there, and especially within the context of the season. I've got a special announcement that I'd like to read uh, at this time. Uh, and this message is to you, our audience, uh, who watches Owatonna Today Show on Charter Public Access Channel 181. As of today, the city of Owatonna is taking over the running of the public access channel from Charter Communications. The city has not yet informed us as to the procedure we need to follow to get the Owatonna Today Show on air on their new public access equipment. Until the city works out these details for all who provide programming for the public access channel, our show will not be aired on the public access channel number 181. So for a short period of time, we hope you will need to watch Oatana Today Show on our YouTube channel on the internet. Go to, your, go to YouTube, type in Oatana Today Show in the search box, and all of our shows will come up for you to see on our YouTube page. Otana Today Show is, uh, feels badly for the, any inconvenience that this may cause you, our valued viewers, but unfortunately we have no control over this situation. You're certainly welcome to call the city to urge them to get the programming up and running on the public access channel as soon as possible. And thanks for, in advance for your continued viewing of Otana Today. Now we're going to take a little bit of time for some commercial messages and then we'll be right back with Sue, Terrence, and Roger. So please stay tuned. Hi, I'm Brenda with the Mortgage Office of Brenda Bednar, aligned with American Mortgage and Equity Consultants, where closings feel right, right from the beginning. I'm a proud supporter of the Oatana Today Show. I'm Dan Branstead of Carlson Branstead & Company, Certified Public Accountants. We support the Oatana Today Show. Welcome back to the Otana Today Show, your community connection, and a big welcome to Sue and Terrence and Roger. Uh, kind of back again, at least two of you, Sue, a new entrant for yep. uh, the brew pub uh, scene, mm -hmm. uh, board member. Uh, mm -hmm. We're going to talk about that, mm -hmm. uh, but again, welcome all. Uh, Thank you. For Thank this, you. Uh, this time to be able to tell us about, and our viewers, about how things are going with the, uh, with the installation of the, of the brew pub. So, yep. uh, Roger, why don't you kick it off? And uh, we, since May, things yep. have happened. So yep. why don't you yep. give us we've a bit been, of an We've been working at, uh, since May behind the scenes. And uh, at that time, it was a concept. And it had kind of come out of uh, three of us who were uh, stewards on Oatana Forward. Sure. And it's just been moving forward yeah. since that time. Um, and uh, we've worked on our bylaws and our articles of incorporation. And we actually are a legal entity in mm -hmm. the state of Minnesota. Um, and even at that time, we didn't have a name yet, mm -hmm. um, which uh, um, we were going out to the public and getting a lot of ideas. And Steel Tap um, is the name that, that won. Okay. So. All right. So um, all of the stuff that needs to be, at least on the front end, is getting to be in place. Mm -hmm. yep. Um, there's no beer being made yet. <laughs> Actually, no. <laughs> you got a facility <laughs> issue that you got to take. That we're going to find out about too. So, um, Terrence, you were here the last time, and uh, we have uh, confirmed that you're the brewmaster. So you're yes. the guy who's going to be doing this. Correct. Will you have help, by the way? Is there I are sure there hope helpers? So. <laughs> um. <laughs> they got to be heavy sacks of stuff to be hauling around. Yeah, most most of them are about you know, 55 pounds yeah. worth um, per sack. Uh -huh. um, you know, I think the typical recipe would be um, probably 450 pounds of grain, because mm. um, there's there's a, at least eight sacks of grain mm. for like a seven barrel recipe, okay. um, and different you know various types of grain, but yeah. depending upon the, the brew, I suppose. Correct. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. No, at the county fair, you know, there's you know competition for. Uh, yeah. People who are doing home brews are, are yeah. some of those folks going to possibly be helping in the brewing process too, if they want. I think um, I think most of them are are going to give inputs. Mm -hmm. um, certainly, recipe ideas and recipe creation because there's a lot of good recipes that that they come up with. Um, 
maybe a little bit of process help. Um, I know I, I'm, I work as part of that as one of the judges and okay. um, have entered in it for years. Um, so, so many of them are, are friends of mine that invariably they'll help, yeah. you know, in some degree. A fast question about brew, make, about making beer. How long does it take? To, once you start getting everything together, how long does it take until you can... Until I can drink it or until you're just done with the brew day? <laughs> well, imagine, imagine because you're a brewmaster, you can sample. Oh, it's just not quite right. <laughs> right. Um, you know, your typical batch, uh, a batch of beer will take um, a home brewer about eight weeks um, from from the day that you're, you're boiling mm -hmm. and adding yeast to, and then about eight weeks later, um, it's usually carbonated in, in, in bottles and then you can drink it or you can have it in your keg. If you're doing a kegging system at home then you can do it a little bit quicker. Yeah. Um, you can do it a little bit quicker like in a brew pub because you're, you're, you're not having to transfer and, um, and you're doing it into kegs or into a, you're carbonating in a big bright tank. Okay. Um, so there you, you skip a couple smaller steps. Yeah. But no, you got to keep this stuff too. Obviously, if you're going to have well, we don't want to keep it too long. No. <laughs> 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 well, therefore, we can get on to membership, I suppose. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and to that, that's you know, right. uh, Raj, is this a, a is, will this be a public place? Then will people be able Absolutely. to walk in off the street and mm -hmm. be able to buy a glass of beer? Absolutely. Uh, will it be off sale as well, or is it only on sale? You on site. Well. It'll be off sale to the to the fact that you can go in and you could buy a growler of beer, or um, they call them crawlers now. They're they're a little bit smaller than the glass jug, yeah. um, but they're sealed. They're they're canned. Okay. Um, you can buy beer produced there right. and take it home. Okay. Um, you can't buy other people's beer there. Uh, to but bring home be on the menu but you list. you could have you know because it's a brew pub you you can serve guest beer okay. or wine. Mm -hmm. um, and I think really you could serve liquor if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. um, I think our hope right now is to beer and, and wine mm -hmm. um, as the options and okay. guest, guest okay. taps. And homemade will wine be also kind of no. Um, it's regular. And I've I've made wine, but I don't I don't know that I would be able to make enough of it. Yeah. Um, wouldn't have the equipment to okay. to do a, a large enough batch and. But hopefully we keep it pretty local, sure, sure. You know, it, as, yeah. as regionally produced as possible. Right. Mm -hmm. So you're a board member, new board. I mean, well, um, an original yep. because the board is brand new. Yep. We have an interim board okay. that's set up to get the brew pub up and running, okay. and then at that time we'll switch over to just the regular board. Right, a pro mm -hmm. Proper board mm -hmm. as, a, as defined by your bylaws. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why are you interested in this? What What has brought you to the to the table, um, so to say. Well, my husband and I like to go around and and uh, visit all the different uh, brew pubs in the area, okay. and and just fascinated by the different recipes of beer and yeah. and uh, what people come up with. You are know, there different a lot styles of, of beer. I mean, you go around. Are they? Oh, there's a couple hundred at least in Minnesota. Really? Yeah, yeah. We've been to fifty some. <laughs> 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 so we got some work to do. <laughs> we <some> travel. <laughs> travel. What are we doing this weekend? Where are we going? <laughs> So, um, and I suppose because of that kind of travel, you get some ideas that mm -hmm. we'd like yep. to see. Yeah, we know. call it research. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Very yep. well. Decor ideas and, and beer ideas yeah. and um, just how they operate and, okay. and run. Sure. Roger, the facility, uh, w w when you were here in May, we t you had a, a place that was kind of at least initially uh, identified as being a, a good site, you know, at least had potential. How's that? Well, um, that was Bubba's, mm -hmm. and that's still in the running. Mm -hmm. um, but we are we have expanded it a little bit and looking at some different options. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, as we you know grew the organization and got some new members into the brew pub and things, there's some new ideas and oh, different yeah. things, pros and cons. And yeah. so um, we still have not nailed down exactly the location of the building. Um, it will be in downtown. It will be downtown um, because right. that is you know that's a big part of this yeah. project. Is about mm -hmm bringing some life to downtown. Sure. Um, and hopefully within a few weeks, we're gonna have that decision made and, and moving on, but okay. that is something we're working on still. Right. Could we find out who the other board members are? Is that, yeah. uh, can we um, articulate their names? Sure. So that um, John Derenek, 
um, mm -hmm. is one, and um, Molly Kerr, Kerr mm -hmm. and Chris Harrison, and then of course um, Reed, who was here yeah. with us last time. Reed Stronsky. Uh, yeah. Reed Stronsky. Uh, he's out in the fields, of course, yeah. Yeah. this time mm -hmm. of year. Yeah. So. Okay. So, uh, and how, how often do you guys meet? To Twice a month. Twice a month. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, all of this is starting to, uh, and equipment, Terry, uh, I call you Terry, sorry, Terrence. <laughs> uh, uh, it's hard not to. Uh, it, it, you obviously have equipment needs. Uh, yeah. Where are you with you know, acquisition of that? Um, you know, so far it's, I've received a lot of uh, quotes, you know, equipment quotes. There's so many, um, there's so many variables in, in the equipment that it, it depends more on um, on where you end up in a building mm -hmm. and into what, you know, the, the height of the tanks and mm -hmm. um, how many tanks you can have. And, mm -hmm. and so that, you know, I, I have an idea where I would like to buy the equipment, mm -hmm. um, exactly which design to go with mm -hmm. is, is going to be determined later. Is it expensive? Um, you know, in the scheme of, of the whole project, it's not. Yeah. It's... I mean, certainly I couldn't write a check for it myself, yeah. um, but it's, I mean, it's, it's not going to take over the cost of the, sure, sure. of the brew pub. And of course, if you, you know, you're a cooperative mm -hmm. and therefore your members, cooperative members are going to be the financiers, if you will. Mm -hmm. So to the extent you have capital, mm -hmm. it'll allow you to do what you have to do that way. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's talk a little bit about objectives in terms of time. What, you know, what's forthcoming, what, you know, what stakes do you have in your per chart uh, going <laughs> forward here. right well the like we said the building decision is the next kind of critical milestone um, and then con completing the business plan mm -hmm. and then the membership capital drive um, will be the next step and we anticipate that uh, sometime after the first of the year okay um, the um, let's just say your uh, objective for opening grand opening what do you think I mean assuming everything falls into place yeah. the way you'd like it to we're, st looking we're still looking at 2018, okay. um, and the goal now is to open by Labor Day, by 2018. Labor Day. Yeah. All right. Well, well uh, uh, lots of you know, not this is not child's play, is it? No. Nope. You know, <laughs> a lot of things that have to be taken care of. So yeah, um, yeah that's exactly right. I, I heard a lot of excitement from people yeah. get stopped in the street and asked about this yeah. and it's always like when is it going to happen sure. you know, people sure. are so lined up at the door why is it taking <laughs> so long and uh, but we you know it, there's a lot to the process yeah. and we want to make sure we do it right, right. and do our mm -hmm. and make yeah. sure that it's successful well continued best wishes with the plan and with the, uh, the process and uh, we hope to have you back here to get you know a, a, a more crystal clear update mm -hmm. as to what is going on so and we look forward to that so best wishes. Thank you. you know, keep thank doing, you much. doing your good work. And okay. uh, so thanks for being here to share all of that with us. Thank and you. Thank you for being with us uh, as well to share, uh, to hear the, the folks share about the upcoming uh, brew pub. And we're going to pause now for a break before Shirley, and then we'll uh, come back after some messages. So please stay tuned. Greetings from the Steele County Historical Society. We invite you to visit us and enjoy your county's history at the History Center and the Village of Yesteryear. Check out our website for current exhibits and our monthly programs. Hello, my name is Katie Marshall. A year ago, my family and I became homeless. We were scared and alone. Today, with the help of Steele County Transitional Housing and generous donors like you, my family and I are safely housed. I am working, going to college, paying my rent on time. My children have a warm bed to sleep in every night. My family and I are so grateful for this second chance. Please help others in need by donating to Transitional Housing today. Everyone deserves a safe place to live. Welcome back to the Owatonna Today Show, your community connection, and welcome to Shirley. Welcome back, Shirley. Shirley Schultz from Owatonna Chamber, Main Street Program Director. Yes, thanks, Pete, for having me. Oh, absolutely. Uh, it's always good to know what's happening, you know, and, and you know, things that most people might not be aware of, 
you're going to help us with, you know, if, if they're important for us to know. Right. So let's talk about uh, certain things. We, before, let's go, let's go right to chamber box. All right. Let's talk a little bit about that because I think maybe there might be some folks who probably have an idea or not an idea about what that is. Well, chamber box are basically, it's, it's like a gift certificates or a gift card mm -hmm. that you can spend locally uh, and you, people stop in all the time. Mm -hmm. I, I bet numerous times a day, six, seven groups mm -hmm. come in and they purchase chamber bucks to give for gifts to employees and then they can spend those locally. Mm -hmm. And so they, they spend just like a check. So if you give a chamber buck for $25, they'll give you the cash back right. if you don't spend the whole $25 right. at, at a, a store uh -huh. or, a, or a service. And so you can pick different denominations, five dollars, ten, twenty-five, you know, and as many twenty-fives as you mm -hmm. want. Sure. And that keeps dollars local, mm -hmm. which has a huge effect. Because every time you spend a dollar in locally at a local store, mm -hmm. whether it's uh, an independent or a chain, that rolls over. And if it's an independent, that rolls over eight times into mm -hmm. the community. So that's a big effect. Right. You know, paying salaries, then people, then they can go out and they can pay their rent, they can sign their kids up for a little league, they can go get their hair cut at the local salon, mm -hmm. and the money just keeps on rolling. So whenever, so that's why the chamber really supports the chamber bucks uh, for people to use and spend. In I've Oatana. seen the list, and boy, it's a long it's, it's list. It's huge. Yeah, it's yeah. a huge list. Pretty much, well, I won't say everyone, but no, it's uh, very close to yeah. that. So it's a, it's a definite benefit mm -hmm. uh, to local folks to be a part of that the chamber bucks list. Yeah, excellent. Well, that's good good information and good update, and hopefully, folks will. You remember that when it's time for a greeting card, uh, mm -hmm. birthday card, whatever, right. someone in town, and we have a Chamber Buck certificate in there. Yeah, That'd be super. Main Street is, a, I mean, it's a general name, you know, everybody has mm -hmm. a Main Street program. In our town, Main Street is? Our Main Street actually is, or if, we, if you want to talk retail, yeah. is on North Cedar. North Cedar, okay. And as it goes around the park, <laughs> yeah. it becomes West Park Square. <laughs> I and mean, we do have a the Main Street that goes, yeah, yeah. that goes past the fire hall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but our uh, Main Street is meaning our typical shopping district. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the historic district, but really centers on North Cedar. Right. Okay. So people like to walk two blocks, three, up to three blocks is sure. kind of their walking limit. Sure. Which is also the extent if you're at a big box store parking yeah. in the back of their parking lot, walking into uh, the back of their store, you're doing a three block walk. Yeah. It's compared to downtown blocks, which right. are pretty short. Which summertime is not bad. Wintertime? Yeah, wintertime, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's hard not to, uh, the, it's kind of the big dog down on Vine and, and North Cedar, so to say, but um, uh, the new Ace Hardware building is, you know, coming up and uh, you talked just a bit ago about parking, you know, that mm -hmm. building is going to be taking some parking spaces that heretofore were available, or is it not? You know, there might have taken a few, but not very not many, because they're still, can, they're still parking in behind there, the, on the side there and on, or on the, the original the behind the, the so-called right. maybe the, we call it now the new hallmark right store. <laughs> yes uh, the hardware store with a hallmark store yeah, inside yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> you know that you talk about one-stop shop <laughs> well, where you going i'm going to get a greeting card but i don't think i'll stop in for a screwdriver while i'm down there well you know it is yeah. nice to keep hallmark in town oh yeah oh my gosh with yeah their, i was sad when i heard and, about the closing right, you know right so that's yeah. been a that's a nice move yeah, yeah and we're really grateful that ace hardware which needed a, more space yeah. chose to remain downtown sure. because i know the downtown businesses, they're running down over to Ace Hardware mm -hmm. all the time to pick up this or that, and they're very knowledgeable. So yes. we really appreciate their yeah. staying downtown. One to the next, to the next, to the next. So Hallmark leaves its facility, is planning to be in the old Ace Hardware store, which is going mm -hmm. to a new hardware store. Now we have somebody up into the old Hallmark store. Mm -hmm. Is that part of what happens with the, within your uh, purview? No, d not really, not. Um, but we're always interested in anybody that opens up a, a business in Owatonna, mm -hmm. and it's only better for the community. Yeah, okay. So uh, our focus with Main Street is really is the, the historic downtown mm -hmm. central okay. district. 
So it's it's like it's from walnut, you know, and back of you know, there's walnut, oak, mm -hmm. and then there's cedar, and then there's elm. Mm -hmm. So it's like a few blocks east to west, and then it goes from scoops around the. Um, Oh, so kind of from Mill and then Main Street to Rose Street. Yeah, so you it worked quite a big. You got business. Broadway. Yep. Right. Broadway, Vine, Pearl. Pearl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which yeah. is no small piece of geography. No, it is. It's fairly large, yeah. and we were the county seat, and that's why our downtown is so large. We, yeah. It was it was retail, shops, and services. Right. Which, which for folks in the day when, when ag was really really big would come in on a day and they take care of business. Yes, they did. Yeah. And I grew up on a farm and we came in every mom and dad would load the kids up in the car and yeah. we'd be in on every Thursday night or Friday night doing See? errands. Yeah. So do banking and and, and all the rest of it. What when you when we look at what's happening uh, downtown and obviously plate glass is important. Hopefully something behind it. Mm -hmm. feel, how are we doing with re residency now? Um, well, we have with residency. That is, well, I don't mean oh, like living, but I mean oh, occupation maybe is a better oh, okay. word. Occupancy. Mm -hmm. uh, well, okay. you know, it's pretty decent. We had uh, four big spots. Uh, one I know has been purchased, mm -hmm. an investor purchased and brought down a business, and that they're getting ready to open up a storefront doing a little bit of online. Mm -hmm. And we have a number of investors looking at our downtown, uh, some of our other pro mm -hmm. uh, buildings, so it looks promising. I'm thinking we'll be maybe having things filled out here within mm. the next new year for sure, if not a lot sooner. Okay. So uh, that's, that's exciting. A lot of talk of downtown. Right. People are kind of excited. We talk about economic, and we used to have an economic, economic development director per se, you know, for Owatonna. Um, and the ch it was you know, part chamber and city, all a part of it. Uh, do you f kind of fill that role, or do you have a piece of that role of being a, an economic developer? We work in, Main Street works with economic development, and then we work with the city, and with their uh, folks, the city planner and mm -hmm. economic development there, with uh, finding businesses for vacancies, and people stop up to the chamber, ask about, mm -hmm. you know, how do I start a business? How, what about this store? You know, who can I talk to? So yeah. we, we connect them with investors in the city and tell them to, you know, get if they're looking at purchasing, or going into a vacant property mm -hmm. to, uh, get planning and zoning in, mm -hmm. involved. So they'll mm -hmm. tell them what their needs are. Sure. They'll work very hard to make things happen. Sure. And just like when we do different events, like coming up, we have the, they'll have the lighted parade mm. coming up here in yeah. December, yeah. which um, is, has been voted the best of a lighted <laughs> parade. Uh, I'm not really sure in the history of where that was voted from, but it is coming up the week after Thanksgiving. Sure. And so we have floats coming in and decorated cars, right. uh, decorated for Christmas, whether it's a, an organization, a business, or a nonprofit. Yeah. So that's kind of exciting. Kind of so. get ready for the shopping season, eh? Shopping yeah, season. If, as if it hasn't already started in a way. Uh, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> we have work with the Shop Small mm -hmm. uh, program, so we get shopping bags out this year mm -hmm. to like 30 to 40 stores, and the Shop Oatana, which mm. is district wide, right. where they do punch cards yes. and keep those dollars you know, moving through. I know I think they figured last year with what we spent in locally in Owatonna had a ripple of effect of $6 million you know? because it went locally. Yeah. So that's what we say, spend it here right. because then you're paying for your teams, right. your sponsorships of things, yeah. and where if we're going out of town, that money stays out of town and doesn't trickle that's back. That's exactly right, yeah, good. Um, anything else that's hot that you need to say before we close? <laughs> Well, we have that Small Business Saturday, Shop Oatana, uh, November to you know Thanksgiving to Christmas, Holiday Lighted Parade, November 30th, and then Hometown Holidays, all kinds of events through yeah. LTO, the, the Senior Place, uh, the History Center, downtown. Right. It's coming up that same week in the first weekend in December. A hot time in the old town tonight. <laughs> yes, it say. is. <laughs> yeah, good. Shirley, thanks for the update, and thanks for being here to tell us all of those things, and we'll look forward to your next appearance. So, All right. Be thank well. you for having yeah, me. Thank you, yeah, and thank you for being with us as well today. We're going to take some time for some community messages, and we'll be right back, so please stay tuned. 
Amy Swain Hearing Centers is a proud sponsor of the Owatonna Today Show. I'm Dr. Amy Swain, and I want everyone to hear better. Hi, this is Barry Gillespie, president of ERA Gillespie Real Estate, where our pledge is to save you money, save you time, and simplify your life. And we're proud supporters of the Owatonna Today Show. Before we get to our community announcements, uh, I have this announcement to read. Uh, and it's for you, our viewers, uh, valued viewers, uh, who watch Owatonna today on the Charter Public Access Channel number 181. Uh, today, the city of Owatonna is taking over the running of public access channel from Charter Communications. Uh, but the city has not yet informed us as to the procedure we need to follow to get the Owatonna Today show to air on the new public access equipment. Until the city works out these details for all who provide programming for the public access channel, our show will not be aired on public access channel 181. So for a short period of time, we hope you will need to watch Otana Today Show on your YouTube, our YouTube channel on the internet. Go to YouTube, type in Otana Today Show in the search box, and all of our shows will come up for you on our YouTube page. Otana Today Show feels badly that there might be some inconvenience that, that might be caused to you, our valued viewers, but unfortunately we have no control over the situation. You are certainly welcome to call the city to urge them to get the programming up and running on Public Access Channel as soon as possible. And thank you in advance for your continued viewing of Owatonna Today Show. We have time for maybe one or two announcements. The holiday, uh, uh, Hosp Owatonna Hospital Auxiliary is hosting its 55th annual Holiday Bazaar on Friday, November 3rd from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. and Saturday, November 4th from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Owatonna Hospital. Lunch is for purchase at the Owatonna Hospital Perry Meadows Cafe from 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. each day. Proceeds from this event help support Owatonna Hospital's patient care mission and provide scholarships for students in nursing and health-related fields. And that, I think, will take care of it for today. Uh, please do come back on Friday when we will have Diane Spitzak and Gary Johnson. We'll highlight St. Paul Church's 150th anniversary Bizarre, as well as other things, and Mike Jensen from Triumph Graphics announcing the 218 calendar open house. So please do come back from that. Thanks for being here today. I uh, hope to see you back on Friday. <laughs>